This is a real small, it's kind of an over glorified, um, little over glorified day pack that comes right down to it. 50 liters. So, um, it's not exactly uh, the biggest pack for winter. I expect the temperatures, it's pretty, it's pretty mild right now. But expect the uh, temperatures to drop maybe um, before these done, maybe 25. So we'll see how that works out. Bet you I'm probably gonna be cold. Or at least a little damp. But alright. I have food, I have no water with me, and I have just one little actually for my spire kit. I don't have very much of anything. Maybe a spark light. And a, bot, and a little Altoids tin full of um, charred cedar from the last trip. That's it. So we'll see what we can do about adding another means to start a fire to that. And Okay, I guess it's uh, time to head out. Okay. There's a tree I've that's like a tree. Are you fit for bark, the little guy? Well, no question. Ah, what you are. It's kind of damp, though. Bet you can find something a little fluffier. I guess sometimes you make your own fluff. Uh, I'll see what else there is. I can stick. All right. A little wind, but uh, nice day. For winter, Let's call this a gift. Some real nice reindeer moss. Heard this stuff's edible, but uh, you know, I don't think so. I'm not gonna bother with that. It's just interesting to look at. I think you'd have to boil it for a long time, and there's a whole bunch of other nonsense involved. It's like 16, I don't know, 10 minute boil. I have no idea. Just not that hungry. But here's the reindeer moss anyways. All right. This looks nice. Yeah, that's slippery just here. All right. That looks really good. I don't have any water with me either. You know, with fresh runoff like this, I'm just gonna drink it without any purification or boiling. I, I, nah, I'm just kidding. Of course I'm gonna do something with it. All right, here's the plan. Put down a pack, get out the straw, drink up, fill up the, um, the bladder. This is nice though. You can't go by how nice water looks. I mean, Oh, Carolina fall. Alright, that is nice. But this water looks about as nice as it gets. I think it's coming right off of a um You are going with me. You are definitely going with me, water. It's actually kind of a nice score. I mean heavy rain I'm expecting this stuff. But uh it just looks so nice. Where are you? Out. The 
rest of it. There we go. Ah, okay. Wide mouth containers are, are really nice, but you don't, um, I mean, there's no law that says you, you have to have it. All right. Okay. Of course, we're not done yet. bad. Smell of dead cedar helps it along. And that is that, we move on. That's up a little higher. A little clouds. I hope it doesn't rain tonight. I don't even have a, well, I don't really have a good jacket. Just a fleece, a pullover, and this vest, so. Luck, it won't, um, what we got here? Damp. Ah. Find another one. And probably enough to pile right here. Keep my eyes out for a piece of quartz. I only have the spark lights. I want to add um, one more method of fire starting. Stuff like that is just done for fun. I really need some. Um, yellow birch and I'm not seeing it but we do have some nice grass up here get into that and uh, here it is Coming up Oops, a little slippery. It's actually quite a little hill. Okay, it's uh, dry grass. I'm gonna take it. Feels really dry, and I think it's gonna do a fantastic job for Tinder Bundle. I mean, a really good job. I hope. Let me grab some of that. That is nice and dry. Okay, this doesn't look that bad right here. Just a little bit. I'll have enough. What I need. Uh, oh, sunny side. Ah, there we are. Let's see. Not a bad uh, little pile. You know, I kind of well, you know, watch that. Mm. I don't like that. Kind of clumsy, so um, boom, 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 dead. It's about uh, oh, 25 foot sheer drop there. It's hard to tell, and um, boom, 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 whoop, splat. So I'm gonna. Keep an eye on that. 
maybe I'm just chicken with heights and stuff, but um, I've had enough of this. There we are. That's better. <laughs> I just don't like that kind of stuff. All right. Looking good. Look. Everything is soaked. See the leaves are pushed. Water still uh and the whole ground, I ever it just this just place it got totally um soaked out in those torrential rains. This is not a stream, this is just the uh, side of this hill. So the plunk wood was soaked. Options are kinda limited. So we're gonna um just do a short jaunt from the camp. To get this uh, silver, nope, this is yellow birch. Nice reflected thing, it was easy to find. All right, let me finish this up and uh, I'll get a move on it. See these shavings? We need you. There we go. Today is a gift for winter. Oh, ah. there we are. For my second method, uh, a fire starting for tomorrow. We've got two quartz rocks. The knife, and of course, that charred um, charred cedar bark from last trip. So we'll see if we can reproduce that. I had a nice little fire though. Typical little platform. So my kit, all I have is this uh, half sleeping pad because I'd not, it's um, kind of going, not ultra light, but lighter. I guess that's the way to describe it. Okay, this is water from before. It's um, it's like crystal clear, but uh, that really doesn't prove anything. Uh, when it comes to water, you know, for all I know, whole friggin' <laughs> family of deer sat there and pissed in it all night even though it's, it looks perfect. So that doesn't, uh, has to be boiled. I didn't bring a water filter because I'm going lighter weight. So it is what it is, I guess. Well, actually I shouldn't say I didn't bring a water filter. I did bring that straw filter. So I could, if I wanted to drink, I could just drink it with the straw filter. But looking for some hot cocoa here. They usually recommend, um, I don't know, 10 minutes of boil. I, I Honestly, I think if you get like something like that going, a nice rolling boil, I think um, you're probably good to go after about a minute or so of that. I can't imagine anything surviving that. There's just no way. There we go. I mean, that's really, really hot. That's been simmering on there for about five minutes into the simmer. 
so I'm gonna think um, that's okay. That's okay. There's the water. All right, I'm just gonna um, mix up the cocoa. They have a little something to eat and turn in for the night. Just a quick overview of my camp. It's really starting to pick up. Uh, my, um, my sleeping bag, sub two pounds. The heavy fleece pants, worth its weight in gold. Um, my little uh, not too big backpack. 50 liters, so what's that, um, 3,600 cubic inches or something like that, I'm not sure, but um, there's not a lot of room there. Three quarter length ground pad. Food hung in a tree right by my camp, I'm not too worried. Uh, there have been bear, actually I seen a bear five miles from here last year, but um, I don't think they're out now. Or who knows, but um, whatever the case is, nothing came by. That's, all right, let's see, uh, this is the bottom. You see there's a uh, foam, an open cell pad in there. And a sill nylon bottom, and then the other bottom, the normal bottom of the hammock. So, sill nylon keeps the wind out about 100%. Foam pad takes care of cold back. Although, to be honest, if I was going to spend another night here, it's going to be colder tonight. I'd have thrown that three quarter length, that half length pad in there as well. Actually, inside a hammock with me. Let's see what else we have. All right, working on, um, here's a problem in this area. I mean, this is just pure, everything is soaked. I mean, I mean, just soaked to the bone. This is just runoff, it's no stream. That's just runoff, uh, but there's still dry wood. Working on a um, fire ring. Got, there's no way I'm putting the wood on that cold, wet ground. So I've got the usual platform. Still have not finished getting the wood. Even with the soaking wet environment, I mean, you would not take wood off the ground, but uh, that's pretty dry to me. So, you can definitely find dry stuff. You just have to look for it. But you take it off the ground, I can guarantee you, it's gonna be a sopping mess. All right, let me finish this fire ring up. Maybe we'll make some bacon. We'll call it, oh, what's this? Well, a wild edible, partridge berry. Kind of fortuitous. Here's the uh, traditional bacon on a stick. Sizzling up there real good. After this uh, bacon is done, there you go. After that, I'm going to um, pack up the camp. That's not uh, it's the time for me to leave. Unfortunately, I'd like to spend another day, but um, as it is, people are calling me on the cell phone. Way it is here. So it's getting colder. I would think uh, probably would have been a little chillier tonight. So going uh, with lightweight stuff for wintertime has got its downsides, that's for sure. I've been much happier if I had my teepee, full teepee setup. If you're spending a couple days, that'd be really nice. But it was alright, can't really complain. So I'm gonna pack up this camp and uh, call it quits. For that, I'll just uh, after I'm done with this bacon, I'll just do a quick overlay of what I use just for the fun of it. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. My lighter weight, lighter weight, not ultra light. Wait, winter. Actually, I'll call it late winter. It's going into spring. 
kit I took with me. All right, first is this uh, little EMS pack. This is very small, as I said before, 50 liters, 3,600 maybe cubic inches. How much room there? Black birch hiking staff, made myself. There's my food, toilet paper. There's enough there for another day. That's a Hennessy hammock with super shelter system for the winter. Plastic bags in case it rains, I can put my gear in that. Small um, one pound, 14 ounce down bag, which I used as a quilt last night. That's as low as I'm gonna go with that. I maybe hit 30. So, yeah, it's kinda on the edge. Uh, inside that bag there is a trail stove with a little hobo. Uh, this is the Golite Poncho. Those are fleece pants with extra wool socks. Although I'm wearing um, these Gore-Tex, I don't have anything on underneath it. I just have um, synthetic boxers. So if it gets colder, I'll be putting those on. Metal cup, plastic cup and spoon. This is a um, one of those Mylar blankets, but it's set up as a tarp. I actually have um, duct tape and punched hole grommets in it. That's the uh, my knife. It's the only tool I had with me. Large striker knife. Worked good. Worked good. It's bigger than my other one. Set up as a necker. Wasn't bad. I, the there's a little bit of a compromise with the position due to this curl, which makes it great for striking the spark, but it gets in the way of a few grips. So give and take, but all in all, it performed good. Spark light is my only real modern source of fire. Even that's marginal because I have no tinder for it. There's no commercial tinder. That bag of um, that bag which has the tin full of well now mostly empty tin full of charred cedar bark from the last trip. Headlamp and a little case, pistol, cheesy phone that I'm getting a new one next month. A little first aid kit, bandana, filter straw which came in useful, a little bit of soap, duct tape, this little bag of straps, cordage, tent pegs for the hammock, an extra cordage in case I should need it. There's actually you know, enough there just in case I need to do something else. So that's about it. Of course, the platy. Probably another, I think there may be another platy in that bag somewhere. As I said before, it's still winter. I mean, we're a few weeks, maybe two weeks from spring. But, um, don't kid yourself, it's still winter. So that's really, um, that's about as, uh, I don't think I feel comfortable if it dipped into the teens, which it could still easily do. I probably put the uh, fleece pants on and bought it last night. Maybe stuff the, maybe put the pad inside the shelter. I didn't do that. Uh, put the vest on, or better yet, maybe stuff the vest in underneath the sill nylon, below the open cell pad for extra bottom insulation. So there's some things I could have done, help pack it up a little more. I probably would, if I was staying here tonight, I probably definitely would. I would do those things, but uh, there you go. So, all right, that's all. And uh, thanks a lot again for watching and happy trails.